my name is Imu. I'm React K channel creator. I'm also a French hornist and I am also a diehard fan of Acmu. I've been so, so busy this whole week working on multiple projects and so I am so late getting to this album first listen, but I'm finally able to. I'm gonna be skipping dinner <laughs> just to listen to this because I'm also reacting to this on a super packed day. For the B-side songs, I am just listening to audio snippets so I can 100% pay attention to just the audio and really good quality of the audio. I bought the whole album so I could listen to that and not heavily compress YouTube quality. And I have looked up the English subs beforehand. However, since I'm getting to this album only a few days after it was released, not all the songs have been translated to English. English, so some of them I'm not quite sure what the lyrics are, but I'll probably enjoy the song nevertheless. Okay, so first comes first is Shanty, which at first I thought was pronounced Shantay, but then I looked it up and Shantay and Shanty is a song with alternating solo and chorus of a kind originally sung by sailors while performing physical labor together, which makes sense why the song is about the ocean and riding on a boat in the ocean. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Kitkaye nom chinen pa. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. I love the reverb on Su Hyun's voice and the guitar crescendos in. I don't want to get this emotional this early in the album, but it's happening. Oh, it's such a creative melody! I never thought it would go up there. Chan Hyuk and his love for cello. Unless that's a bass, I still can't tell the difference. I think that's a cello. So the strings, it's like a call and answer, right? So Hyun is singing a certain melody and they came in and with more harmony played what she had just sung and now they're interacting. because it's everything. It seems so simple, right? But no, it's so, so not simple. It's simple and it's not simple. That, whatever that is, it's like she's... <sighs> right, so a scale has seven notes. And she was outlining that scale and scale pattern, but then she goes up. Okay, time to break out the tonal energy tuner. I know people ask me what app I'm using, but this has tones that I can use. Okay, so her line goes da 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 da, I think. I'm not sure why it switches octaves like that. I think it's an A minor. So that, sh her melodic line is just going down from scale degree five to one. goes up to six. Da, da. It's just seven, it's literally a leading tone. Oh, it's because it's harmonic minor. <laughs> so this is a harmonic minor scale. Two, flat three, four, five, flat six, raise seven, one. And that's why it sounds so weird because in the minor scale, we have a flat six, flat seven, one. Like I was starting to yell at during <laughs> This song is, the instrumentation is so simple, right? We've got Suhyun with a ton of reverb on her voice. We've got a cello and we've got, let's say, a studio string section. Is that what it's called? A mini string ensemble. But this is already like, I'm already super satisfied and I'm overwhelmed with happiness. Okay, fish in the water. See, I'm the shit. 
In the blue picture where solitude is swimming, the colors of death that may have pulled awkward flying creatures, swimming creatures, your color, I'm the paint man. Live like the way we sing! Why is that in capital letters? <laughs> Fish in the Water sounds like another ballad, but you know what? Acme and Day6 write the best ballads in the gay industry. Three, two, one. Oh, this is not a ballad. This is the one that they teased. One of the teasers with. Same key as Indigo Girls Closer to Fine and same similar chord progression. I have my audio turned up loud. I like Chen Hyuk is singing some uh, I think that's a kick drum, but they took away the attack so you only hear, feel the leftover bit of the hit. I'm doing folk. And usually they sing in octaves, but they're actually singing within the same octave right now. There's so much to talk about. I'm noticing so many things, but I don't want to talk over the group singing part. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the instruments mirror the bass drum hitting at that one second. And the guitar, the. Yo, I grew up listening to this kind of music. Getting the texture. Very warm cymbal roll sound. Back to unison. I think Chen Hyuk's singing an octave down in the left channel. No, he's not. It's just the bass that I'm feeling. This is mixed so low. Oh, and we're layering. Now he's singing an octave down from Suhyun. Whoa, a ton of reverb on the end. Man, okay. I'm so not used to trying to analytically listen to this style of music because my, I, my parents raised me listening to Indigo Girls, Simon Garfunkel, um, Crosby, Stills, Nash, Cat Stevens, Joni Mitchell. And so to hear this style of music with a current pop artist where I usually like very intently active listen and analyze, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny because like I just want to like sit back and relax and enjoy whatever the heck's coming at me while also I'm like, wait, okay, the chords, the instrumentation, the sound, like all of that is happening at once. So just to summarize, like I said, it, it gives off an indigo girl sound, and if I were to ever meet Acme in real life, if I ever had the chance to recommend artists for them to check out, it would be indigo girls, because the indigo girls, they have an alto singer, and her voice is very dark and low, similar to Chan Hyuk's, and they also have a slightly more higher range uh, singer who had, carries the higher harmonies, and their harmonies are just so, so active, just the vocal harmonies are so active, and they have very fun acoustic 
uh, guitar, not always drum set, just percussion items, um, bongos sometimes, congos, like that, this song's vibe very much remind me of that and I think Acne would really enjoy their music and I enjoyed this song because of that nostalgic feeling that I had while listening to it and also just because their voices are beautiful, their choices of instruments was perfect. Um, it's one of those songs that I'm going to listen to over and over and, and notice new things the more I, I listen to it. Exceptionally bright mood in a giant turquoise here smile Shower and run across, come out on the porch with a shower Watch the land, start with the land. Teary. I'm getting teary, great! Time for more crying because the moon is so sad. I hope it rains tonight. Oy. Okay, time for more sadness. Three, two, one. This is surprisingly upbeat. I did not expect this. Yep. Kind of expected that harmonic motion. Yep. Shower Yep. This is a very acne melodic tune. Oh, kept going down. Not, not again. Oh, that's cool. What they sang in the vocals just happened in the instrumental at that moment. I expected them to repeat it again in the vocal part, but instead they just put it in the instrumentals. So we have three different melodic moments, or melodic lines going on. Meaning, Chen Hyuk, Su Hyun an octave up, and Chen Hyuk harmonizing with himself. I love the percussion! Little moment for the piano to solo. Chenix just, or I didn't look up to see if Suhyun participated in writing this. She probably did. Um, but they're <laughs> layering up their harmonies more and more. Oh, the piano is still playing, but it's in unison with the guitar rhythms. So I didn't really notice that I was still playing until now. Oh, there, jumped off the octave. One more repeat of the melody, but adding in bass. And then we're gonna go into the bridge after this. I think they did this the first time around. How is this going to end? Another repeat of the melody, but it's harmonizing the piano now. I think he's singing an octave down, but it's so 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 quiet. It's just to add a uh, warmer, like down there. Fade out. They really milk in that melody. I'm not the only one who hears that, right? Does anyone else hear the octave down? Or was that just like the guitar part? That might have been it. 
What is so amazing about Acnew's vocals is that they can blend super well with instrumentals. And so at that moment, I couldn't quite tell if it was Chan Hyuk singing super, super low, or it might've been bass that was just playing along with the vocal melody, or it might've been the low piano end, or it might've been just the guitar. That was cool. Yeah, I kind of wish that they did a bridge instead of repeating the chorus like 500 times at the very end, but they did, they repeated the the melody, changed up the lyrics, right, I think, and let the instruments change just a tiny bit. But still, I really enjoyed that, and we're about to move on to freedom! Freedom!